Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and it occurred to me recently uh, that a lot of people don't know how to, or even that they can, change their keyboard on their Android device. So this prompt me, I'm gonna start a short series of videos on how to really get the most out of the customization options in Android, starting with this one, which is gonna be how to change the keyboard on your Android device. Okay, so on this Galaxy S5 that I have here, this is the keyboard that comes with it. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, maybe you are. But the thing is, is that regardless, you can change it. Um, and any device that runs Android can do this as well. So, what you begin to do is go to hit the home button. We're gonna go to the Play Store and you can just search for keyboard. And you'll be presented with a bunch of them. So the most popular ones are probably Swift Key, Google's is a really good one, Go Keyboard. Um, but as you can tell, going through all of this, there are a ton of them. There are ones that even look like the iPhone keyboard. I'm sure there's one in here for Windows Phone. Here's the Android L keyboard uh, from the new version of Android that someone ported over in some way, or at least ported over a theme that looks like it. Um, but as you can tell, there's no shortage. Once you decide on the one that you want to use, simply click it like any other app and tap install and accept. Wait for that to download. And once it's installed, you can actually hit open and it'll walk you through uh, the setup process of installing a keyboard, but I'm gonna do it manually with you just so you know how to do it. So you go home, we're gonna go to settings. And inside settings, no matter what device you have, you should have like a language and input or it might say keyboard and input or something like that. You're gonna tap that. And then in here, it'll show you the keyboards that are installed. You need to check the one that you're gonna use agree that it's going to be able to see what you type, obviously. And then once it's now selected, you can change the default keyboard. So instead of it being Samsung in this case, I'm gonna do the Google keyboard. Now, all you have to do is go into any app that uses a keyboard, Hangouts for example, and your new keyboard will automatically appear. And of course, to change back to another keyboard, you simply go back to your language and input and change the default to the other one. Go back in and it'll be back to that. Um, alternatively, you can also uninstall the keyboard like you do any other app through the Play Store and that'll remove it as well. Enjoy.